Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play The Lens 2 on Mysterious JG. We just had an entire video of hiring random mercenaries we didn't really want. And I'm going to sell their gear real quick before we get anywhere. But then, we're going to get on with the plot. I like that we got knife boots. I wonder if, uh... I can't imagine that anybody's going to be using them, though. Oh, okay, she'll be using them. But, uh, he keeps getting rid of her fists and giving her that stupid hell whip. Which has a higher attack power per one hit, but doesn't do multiple hits. Wait, how in the world can a spirit hat be the best thing that she can wear on her head? That's gotta be wrong. I must have sold some gear that I didn't mean to, damn it. Oh well. What about you? Can you wear knife boots and are they better than whatever? Oh, you got nothing on your belt. Oh, because you got kicked out of the party for a while. He's got a mega bottle. You've got a mega bottle. I guess you're going to be stuck being the last person with a high bottle. Uh, she can't wear knife boots, it looks like. Maybe they're like stiletto heels or something. Oh, well, now we got to go look. Well, now we got to go shat hop. Hat shat hopping. <laughs> Shat hopping, folks. Now we gotta go hat shopping, and hers will be the grandest of all. Okay, so Nikita can't wear any of this crap. Fine, Nikita's gonna have a shitty helmet for a while. I don't care. We'll deal with it later. Next town we go to, we'll look for a better hat for her. And that'll be fine. Meanwhile, break on through the other side, man. Now we're in the first floor basement. Where it appears that we can do nothing of use over there. The aimless wind and agony pillars, which I fought tons of, leveling up. I don't feel like fighting them anymore. They don't do anything special or interesting. They just sort of attack you. Yeah, these are all pallet swap enemies, folks. You're not going to see any new and exciting enemies here, really. Now, this floor, I don't know, because I kind of made it a point of not coming down here. But it would appear to be the same stuff. God oh, damn it, you guys. I'm trying to spare you. Yeah, the uh, Rigans came and destroyed everything and completely changed the layout of the Temple of the Evil God. It's now a totally different map from before. Mold drizzles. Get what? Guess what status effect they can inflict on you. And like all enemies that inflict the mold status, they are annoying and they don't give you that much experience or reward. But it's starting to look like we're already at the end of this maze. It's pretty, uh, pretty short one. Yeah, looks like this is it. Oh, I remember it was pretty short in the other game too. Oh, the enemies never nasty. Paladin's Quest had cooler enemies than this game has so far, I must say. First check the container, Flame Spear was found. Awesomeness. But then more shit went down. In the realm of enemies, I don't feel like fighting. Okay, so a big plot thing that we were waiting for has come, and it's over now. So we can go report excitedly to the... Yeah, there's a whole different way to get to this bottom floor here. This one doesn't appear to go anywhere. Maybe there's items here.
This one I should have noticed first because it's closer to where you enter the the floor. And it would appear that it's just a decoy to confuse you that nothing useful is happening here. Oh. Come on, Pollock, find some items. Okay, it didn't look like anything useful came of that. So this is just like a decoy floor. And then we get back to the real uh, Hot Rod Dirty Dog Dennis Robin. I mean, the real uh, path uh, the, the quest adventure -y thing wants to go. Ah, I almost got out of this thing without anyone getting hit with the mold status, but not quite. Yay, let's go tell uh, Mayor McCheese here that uh, we've got the flame con. And we're ready to defeat uh, the evil chick who killed Eagle. Flame con! <laughs> I haven't thought about that in a while. Come on, Tut! Shut up! Town's chief. By using the underground temple's flame sphere, the doors to Belmont's castle should swing wide open, so good luck. Okay, buddy. I'm going to assume that Belmont's castle is the one that's really close by. And that that's why these people in this town are particularly afraid of him. As opposed to, say, one of the other four fiends of the Granada apocalypse. So we just head right on up here and uh, go to Belmont's castle. Ferris, use a flame sphere. You couldn't just use fire magic on this thing? Is it going to burn the tree, but then drop that big rock the tree is holding right into the, uh... Nope. Burns the, burns the rock, too. Maybe that's why you couldn't just use regular old flaming magic. But anyway, now we're in Balmont's castle. Which looks like kind of a shithole. <laughs> this is your castle, dude? Don't you have servants to keep it clean? Them's fighting words per the fighting tree. I don't feel like fighting the fighting trees. So, bye bye I'm able to run away pretty well because I'm slightly over-leveled. Ah, shit. Ooh, a night terror. And a Leylon Master. And two sickles. Dream sickles! I don't think any of these guys have funky special attacks, but maybe I should be showcasing them a little bit. I don't know. Oh, is that the door out? No. Not at all. Ugh. Somebody has an attack all move, but, um... Did I give Ferris the spell of peace in this current, uh... No. He doesn't even... He doesn't have access to peace with the way he's currently laid out. I don't feel like changing it, so we'll just have to keep running. Or we can actually fight some of them. Why not fight some of them? Yeah, so you can hit all enemies. And you can get hit. You're very dead now. Oh, okay, you got killed before you could do... And the Leylon Master who casts his magic spell by just kind of flailing his wings at you. And, and the magic spell is the magic spell of hitting you with a physical attack. Okay, there's a Sage Mask. Maybe uh, Nikita can wear that instead of a freaking uh, spirit hat, which is like the ultimate crappy hat. Yeah, she can wear a Sage Mask. And it improves things uh, a bit, so good. We'll go with that. So now she's like a stripper with a gimmick. She's wearing a mask. Not just covering her naughty bits, also covering her face. So that, that too can be revealed in sexy fashion. Good stuff.
more treasure. Hey, Giga Bracer. Awesomeness. I wonder if the Giga... Br eh, fuck, I don't, care, like, I don't care about equipping anything right now. I want to continue running away from dudes. I'm waiting for the music, so I'll know that we're near the end of this dungeon. This one doesn't strike me as being a particularly long, like a dungeon that's going to be particularly long. I don't know why. Certainly, once we found the correct path in that first room, it's been very straightforward. I don't really know what these pockmark things are. Is there supposed to be little wells or something? I really don't know. This guy's castle kind of sucks. Gotta say, it doesn't really seem like a very cool place to live. Oh no, it's super scary music. You are a Rigan? He doesn't look like a Rigan. So Rigan's got real ugly during the time when uh, Midia and uh, Chesney were, I don't know, taking a nap or something. The race evolved into a bunch of Ugloids. Okay, so the dramatic music has ended. Belmont, growl. Uh oh. Well, Ferris, I never dreamed of seeing you here. Ferris, Ferris, let's forget these pointless struggles. Come on, join me in the real Great Union. What, you want me to join you personally in the Great Union? Is that a euphemism? Sure. Gra. That's excellent. You'll really become my friend? Gra. Ha ha, you can't fool me one bit. I know you're after the seals, that's all. Look, I'm sick and tired of putting up with your so-called wits. Now I'm going to transform you into a blood festival. Well, why did you even ask, man? Fine, no. Grah. I see, look, there's no way you can resist fighting. Well, I won't restrain myself from fighting against you either. No way I'm going to allow you to recover the seals. Something about blood festivals. Grah. He's got a big... Uh, looks like asparagus heart going out of... Artichoke heart growing out of his head. It's pretty terrifying. And although it appears to be suffering from slowdown, he's got unique boss music, too, so that's cool. Now you'll see, now that I've mastered the spirits, the skills up spell has been vastly improved, as you will see in a moment. Once he gets done whipping us with his head penis. Because it now hits all party members, which means you spend one turn putting all those buffs on yourself. Pretty sweet. Then you just kick the shit out of this guy. I wonder if he's weak against Suzanne. He's weak against the super kick, that's for sure. Oh, he is weak against Suzanne. Excellent. That means Myra will be useful in this battle after that first turn. I really wish Myra knew the bottle spell. You don't have Suzanne by any chance, do you? No. Gogo Ball is the instant death spell. I, I've been meaning to showcase it eventually, but um, this is probably not the time. Boom, boom, doo, boom, 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 Scary guy whose right hand is reaching towards his junk. Do, 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 do. How is this guy meant to be a Rigan at all, really? Attacking with the heaviness. Yeah, that lightning sword really ain't doing any good against him at all, is it? Ooh, double penis whip. Very, very dangerous, very deadly. Shouldn't be talking like that. I mean, kids might be watching this. I guess I'll try Go Go Ball, just so you can see it, but... I don't know if it even has an animation when it doesn't work. 
It'd be really nice if you could change spirits in mid-battle, but you can't. Okay, so that didn't do anything, but it looks kind of cool. Maybe I'll just kick you with my command boots, why not? Okay, time for this to end so that I can end the video, pretty much. Yay! What timing. I did not know that was going to happen. And everybody's spirits are increased even though everybody's maxed out all their spirits. But we've won the day, folks. When we come back, we're going to have pulsating something that we're going to get for defeating this guy. It's going to be great. And, uh, uh, pulsating objects. Always funny. <sighs> also, I will yawn a lot. Uh, so, yeah, next time uh, we will, I guess, start going after the second of the four fiends so that we can uh, get our hands on Chaos slash Granada and uh, end this game. Thanks for watching. This has been Mysterious JG. I'll see you next time.